Hey guys, how you doing? I thought I'd make a little uh, little update. I'm not even sure if this is going to be a proper sketch alone because I haven't been out in Barcelona a lot, going to sites, uh, just kind of keeping my head down during this heat wave with its uh, 86 degrees Fahrenheit nights. That's three o'clock at night. So it's been a little crazy. Um, so I think I'm just going to make a quick little update for my own YouTube channel talking about how the comic book is progressing, but I haven't been making a lot of video footage. So I hope to this Sunday, Sunday the 11th or the 12th of August. Time is just passing by. So this Sunday, I'm just going to, you know, shoot a little video for you to give you a little update what's happening. Uh, just in case you haven't been paying attention, Ox and I are over on Instagram TV, streaming every week, and he puts those streams up on his channel as well. So I'll put a link down below to his channel so you can check those out. In the meantime, let me just show you what I got. I have begun working twice as large. So as you can see, very inconsistent, even with a ruler. Um, I am now trying to draw at 150% rather than uh, 7 by 10 and a half inches. I tend to go over anyway and then I grab that in Photoshop and just, you know, make it smaller. But I think that in regards to some of the pages I've been making, uh, let me just grab one of them. In regards to some of the pages I've been making, I feel like my uh, my pages are a little inconsistent here and there, panel to panel or just page to page, and I feel like if I just work a little bigger, see like, this one's nice, and then, well this one is just not so nice, I feel. And then this one's going to get cut off like this, as per design, but I just had a little bit of fun over here, just drawing the whole body which is out of proportion, it's way too small. But anyway, it was just for fun. So, um, so on this page, like the last one I made and showed on the live stream right over here, I am just working at 150%. I can get way more detail in working at this level, as you can see. And I think when I shrink this down, it's gonna look nice because the other With thing is the inks, like my pens. Like I've got a box here of pens. See that? It's my box of pens. And uh, like they are running out of inks. I am running out of money to buy new ones because I spend like 10, 20 on them every week. And um, so I try all sorts of tricks, but I find like with the, the thinner ones, I don't, maybe it's the pressure I use with the thinner ones, ones like this 0 0.5, um, they're awesome when they're fresh out of the box, but it, you know, it takes like one day and like the, the, the ink is just, it's just not as black anymore and it, it just annoys me. And so what I then end up doing is I try and compensate by just going over the line, but then the line gets thicker and so I lose all this resolution and I keep forgetting that, um, that when I scan these into Photoshop, I can use the the burn tool, uh, and you can set it to midtones, so that you can just darken what is there and not burn the white, like the white page, so it doesn't go brown. So that there's like these little Photoshop tricks where relatively easy, painless, and fast, above all fast, you can just get the inks that are there, the traditional inks, to, to darken. Ox and I have been uh, been streaming every Friday, and so I've been falling behind this week massively. I only got one page done, but it was a massive, like this page, man. This page is just, like, every panel was like a day's work, you know? So we were talking a little bit during the stream, which I recommend you watch over on... Uh, his story on his Instagram channel, Samurai Ox. This in front of me is page eight or page nine, I'm not sure, of my Phosphor comic book. And um, yeah, it's kind of where I'm at. So let's get started, shall we? Let's see if we can make a whole video.
since this video is a proper making of video of my little science fiction adventure comic book, which in case you don't know anything about it, and this is the first time you've come across my channel, it's, it's a uh, science fiction story about a group of uh, scavengers who come across a secret location and awaken a monster of some sort and get themselves into a world of trouble. Uh, it's, it's very much in the vein of The Thing and Alien and um, there's lots and lots of characters for me to draw and for you to be introduced to before I of course, start killing them off, which is of course going to be a lot of fun because, you know, hopefully by then you've come across a favorite and you fiddle your thumbs for each page to turn to see who's going to make it and who's not going to make it. So, as you can see, um, I'm not too precious about uh, getting the proportions right using any means necessary, even when I forget my ruler. And um, I'm using a red pencil to get things down onto the bigger piece of paper, working at a 150%, as I pointed out earlier. Working from the Photoshop designs I made during my last 100 days of making comics uh, run. Um, yeah, so what can I say about using the red pencil? It's a lot tougher than the blue pencil, which is good. Uh, but because lately I've been on this whole like, like not taking it too seriously, like just get the proportions uh, right. Uh, if I don't get the likeness right or, you know, like I'm not trying to photocopy exactly what I had before. I try and give myself the, the space to improvise, especially when it comes to rendering. And I also leave a lot of things out. Uh, like here, like as you're about to see, I'm gonna render the hell out of this face. And I, I wanna have fun. Like I wanna enjoy making these pages. And if I go all out um, in pencil, and it's all right there before me and then inking is nothing more than just tracing what is before me. I lose interest very quickly. Like, I mean, there's nothing wrong with like just having a bit of a grind and just, you know, making my way through it. But these pages are a bit of a grind to begin with. Like, so in order to keep it fun for, uh, fun for myself, I try and leave things blank. The things that are easy to mess up on a page, especially when you're copying it from a design, are the liveliness and the proportions. Like I have trouble getting the proportions right. So um, that's what I have to get right in pencil. And then everything else, I tend to go right at it in inks, but it, there's just so much still left to fill in that I get to worry about, you know? And, when you have that kind of worry and when you have that kind of tension for yourself, like, am I gonna mess this up? Um, it tends to stay a lot more lively. And like, I like I don't know how else to put it, but like, like when you go through iterative phases, like I do following the Gazbot model, like going through several phases of, you know, before you hit the actual final page, there's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of, um, I don't know, like, there's, there's a certain liveliness to a stroke that gets lost, like every time you try and copy it, every time you try and repeat it. If you draw a lot, I think you know what I'm talking about. Um, so that is something I worry about and I feel like this approach um, prevents that from happening, prevents the page from getting stale for me even if it can be a bit of a grind because like this page, for example, it took me about three days to get it right, uh, to get it finished, I should say, not get it right. Um, like it's, it's very detailed. Uh, there was lots of parts on the page that had me worried. Like this page was very dark. It was, it was really just, you know, a silhouette on the design, but I didn't want it to be a silhouette. I figured like if it's going to be a silhouette, like I can still have all this line art in there and just use a very dark color, but like you still get to see all that line art. So, you know, yeah, <laughs> what else can I say about it?
So my overall process to just laying down inks is working with these uh, Stettler pens. I tend to go in with the thin one and just do some outlining uh, with the thin ones, even, even when I can clearly see there's gonna be some very thick lines because I try and force myself to lay down the, uh, the light source in the, uh, the pencil drawing so that you, that you can already see uh, where the heavy shadows are going to be to stop myself from wasting a lot of time rendering when it's, when it's going to be just pure black anyway. Um, I do try and keep that in mind. So with this one, as you can see, like going in with the, um, the thin pencil, the thin pen to, you know, like put in the details and just putting in the, the, the details of the light source in the face already. Um, I try and finish it up like this on the first run. Like that's like a first phase, if you will, of inking. And then, then I take the, the really thick ones, the really thick pens and lay down some really thick strokes as per design. Um, before going back to the thin pencils and just making those really thick lines fit in with the overall piece. Um, and then in a, like a last phase, I take a step back and take the thick one, the thick pencil pen again and try and finish it up. Like uh, before, because at that point in time, I'll know that, um, I can't even talk anymore. But at that point in time, I'll know where like where the balance is and where I really need to like go in and make sure there's, there's I'm, I don't wanna say contrast, but like, like if everything is with thin lines, it can look really nice, but I, found, I find like lately, like I've got more of a, a feel for like knowing where to add the thick lines, you know, to, to really Give a, give a figure its proper outline and to contrast it with other figures on the page. So with this, this little guy here in the background, for example, like I needed to make sure that he was his own little character. But at the same time, just as with the, uh, the older man that I was uh, drawing for the last couple of minutes, there's, there's the fact that he's standing next to for your eye next to another character and that I need to make sure that you differentiate between you know the foreground the middle ground and the the, the background in inks um, sometimes I get a little carried away inking and I tend to over render there's a figure right over here right over here that should have been like pretty light, but I got a little carried away and started rendering like proper thick shadows and everything. So they're handing over the ball. And uh, I think it is kind of okay, but I also feel like if I kept him a lot thinner and lighter in line weights, like this background over here, um, these two would have receded a lot further. And it would have been a lot easier for your for your eye to tell these all apart you know just like over here there's a lot of heavy rendering it's very dark and then on this this half of the character i keep him very light so that he recedes into the background whereas here of course there's the light source but i i overdo it a little bit more but then that makes him stand out from this character over here a lot better well, I hope that kind of makes sense, like talking about separating the the planes using line weight. Um, it's a tricky thing with line weight, uh, especially using the pens. I find like with the quill, it's a lot easier because you can push. And then, of course, there's the brush. But like I tend to be so like working like with the fine pen a lot and like I just don't have that level of control with the brush but there's things you can do with a brush like especially when you work big and when you have to do really thick lines like from thick to thin like on a larger scale where you know where you get more motion 
which is really awesome. And then there's just like texturing effects that you get to do with the brush that you can't get, you know, with a pen like this or with a quill. But yes, I'm also prone to just kind of, like whatever I have in my hands, I just stick with it. I don't go, like I, I don't quite have that workflow yet of just like, this should do, this I should do with a quill. Get the quill. This I should do with a, like a Stettler pen because it's very consistent. And for these lines, you should, should just get out the brush. Like I don't quite have that workflow just yet. Maybe one day, we'll see. Anyway, speaking of inking, Mr. Uh, Peter Palmiotti is doing 100 Days of Making Comics. You should go over to his channel, show him some support. He's got at least another 94 days ahead of him, so check him out. I'm really glad that with um, this page that I kept these two panels on the top for last because the background got so detailed and busy it actually influenced how I drew those panels like I kept them a lot lighter you know again like what I was saying earlier with just keeping uh, like keeping what is next to one character in mind when using the line weight to make them stand out from their surroundings. So here's the page, fully inked. Very proud of this page. Uh, there was plenty of improv improvisation that I got to do with the rendering. There's lots of lots of lots of detail. I hope this is coming out sharp enough for you guys to see. But one thing that was definitely fun or funny, I should say, is that. Um, at some point, I got a little worried about the perspective, so I drew some uh, some some of those points on the horizon, uh, and I noticed that, like with this machine over here, it things weren't just quite lining up with like the lines on its body itself, and like those um, those buckets that it transports downwards to the table where they're working at. Uh, the same with like what is all the way up here. This is all in perspective, but like there's this black blob behind the panels. Um, I just kind of had to make it fit and make it work because I hadn't really thought things through as I was drawing them. Uh, the same with like this little background over here is elevated from the background over there and I can get away with it because this head is right there. So you can just imagine that it is elevated, but really just kind of screwed it up, but still, like I said, I'm very proud with how this came out. Anyway, enough of this page. Time to get on to the next because uh, otherwise there's another penalty in the works for me. I still have to draw Donnie for, for Ox, so every time I fail to do one of the goals I set, on a weekly basis, there's a penalty involved. If you want to see if I make it um, for this week's challenge, check out tomorrow on Instagram TV. It's going to be on my channel, so it's same name, Yanomol, over on Instagram. Um, 
7 o'clock European time, that's 12 o'clock Midwestern, is that what they call it? And I, but Ox and I will be talking about what we got up to this week and, um, and more. So I hope to catch you there on Friday. Catch you guys later. Hope you enjoyed this little making up video. See you next time.